Hey party people, welcome back to the channel. It's Emily and I am currently outside Walmart to do some early Lego hunting, but also there's a specific set that I've really had my eyes on for a while, but I've been traveling so much over the last month. It's the kind of thing like I don't want to fly home with a Lego set when I can just purchase it here in town. So that's what I'm planning on doing today is finally purchasing it here in Austin. If you've been following the channel for a while, then you know that when it comes to Lego shopping, I am very much into anything that can fit into a Lego city, like buildings, for example, modulars, Disney castles. Honestly, I'm just waiting for the day that Lego makes like a Disneyland castle. That would be so cool. As well as any Lego sets that work well for a display. Today though, I am after a specific set for the Lego city. And honestly, for the longest time, I've been saying like, how cool would it be if we got like a 90s themed bowling alley or like retro arcade? And when I've talked about wanting Lego to make something like this, I was referring more to like a modular. But I'm not complaining. We finally have something very similar to that in the Lego Friends theme. It just looks like so much fun. Plus, it'd be perfect for Lego City. So that's what I'm here for today. Anyways, y'all, before we head inside, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for more Lego City updates, vlogs, and more. All right, let's head in and see what they got. It has been so hot in Texas lately. Like, I swear it's 110 degrees today, and I just can't stand it. It's like a sauna. Woo. We're at Walmart. And in terms of early Lego, I've actually been pretty lucky at this Walmart in the past. I found the Bad Batch shuttle like a week before release ones, as well as some other fun stuff, but also lots of really good discounts. So I'm really hoping to get lucky today. We'll see. So real quick, I found the pinata aisle and look at how small these little unicorns are. These are really cute. There's actually like a Lego dots set and it looks just like this. Actually, it's like a really chonky looking unicorn. Anyways, oh, there's also a rainbow. And they also have tacos here. Look how cute that is. That would actually be just kind of fun to get and just whack because why not? All right, so here we have the Lego aisle. They have this like Lego classic set. I actually have this one. I still need to make some content on it, but it's just like really cool. It's for 90 years of play. So they have a bunch of just different iconic builds through the years. Oh, and here you can see it a little bit better. It's pretty neat. Alrighty, so here we have a pretty big Lego aisle. Let's just start with the Star Wars. They have some snow trooper battle packs in stock. Actually, yeah, they have a bunch of these. That's kind of cool. The duel on Mandalore as well. And actually I just started watching Rebels. We finished season one and spoiler alert if you haven't seen Rebels, but it's like not really too big of a spoiler. This one might make an appearance at the end of season one and I kind of freaked out. Anyways, they also have the Mandalorian Starfighter. They had this one at Costco a while back and I really regret not getting another one. Like these figures in here are just fantastic. And then the Imperial Shuttle. I don't know if this is weird or if anyone else does this, but like whenever I'm watching Star Wars with my husband, whenever there's a ship that shows up that I know what it is, which is becoming more and more ships surprisingly, I'm like, oh look, it's an Imperial Shuttle. Like, oh look, it's an A-Wing. And Ross is like, good job. But I feel pretty proud of myself. Gosh, okay, look at this little friend set here this is actually so cute so it's like a little atv it's the turtle protection vehicle but like in the back of her cart she just like carries around turtles how funny is that Ross's first word was turtle, by the way. Super random. Actually, y'all, I just got my first ever Jurassic World set. So I got this one. I don't even know how you say this. Baryonyx? Baryonyx? Was that right? I think that was right. Dinosaur Boat Escape. This is also like one of my first ever big boat builds like this. So I'm pretty excited for it. We also got some pretty good figures in here, plus the Baryonyx guy. So let me know if you want to see a build stream soon. But then this dinosaur here is so scary. He has like all these scars on his face. He looks mean. Oh gosh, y'all. Okay, so the Lego City stunts. This like chicken bike guy. I remember being so, so excited when this was announced and when it came out. We like rushed to the store to get this. They're really fun, but like, I just wish they did more with it. I feel like the actual sets are a little bit of a letdown. Anyways, I'm also trying to keep an eye on any early Lego sets and I don't see anything yet, unfortunately. This Walmart usually does have some pretty good options in terms of early Lego, but I don't see anything yet. Oh gosh, and then the medieval castle here. I have two of these. I bought them at Costco. I wanted to do like the main castle, but also do the Rapunzel's Tower kind of themed build over here, but I never got around to it. Stay tuned maybe for content about that soon. Still no early Lego, something I was kind of hoping to find and I know it's so random, is there's this new Disney Dots pack, I guess like a mini theme from Dots that's just entirely Disney related. And they have so many printed tiles with like Mickey's hands and Minnie Mouse and Disney, like Disney everything on printed tiles, I love it. But you also get some of the bigger Mickey shaped tiles in these. So I'm actually really excited for them. I know that's so random, like I've never been excited for Dots stuff, but here we are. I was actually just looking around the shelves to see if I could find one of the Disney four plus sets. Those are ones that have all the different Mickey tiles, but I don't see any. So I'm just gonna put a picture up here. Yay! 
In other news though, a while back I was trying to find the Encanto house and I just couldn't find it anywhere, but it's finally starting to show up in stock at places. They have two here at this Walmart, so that's really exciting. I actually love that set so much and seeing all the different mocks of it at the different Lego conventions has been so fun. Speaking of Lego Dots though, I saw this and I was like, isn't this like an old retired Lego Dots set? Because at first I thought it was like the pineapple, but it looks very similar. This is like the banana. There's the top of the peel and then it's kind of like squished on the bottom. It's kind of cute, but like I have no need for this. Throw some Mickey printed tiles on it and then we'll talk. Oh, and then the Lightyear shuttle. I still haven't seen Lightyear and I'm so bummed about it. I heard it wasn't that great and that makes me so sad because I'm really excited to see it eventually. Hopefully I can go see it finally in the next few days. I don't know. It's going to be like out of theater soon and on Disney Plus. But that being said, I do really like the sets from it. I think they're really fun. It kind of reminds me of Star Wars. Plus it's the perfect like display slash playable set. So I really like these. Well, I'm just doing one more quick look over the Lego aisle here and I still don't see the set that I'm after unfortunately. It's a Lego friend set and most of the sets are in like this area here and like maybe a little bit further down but I'm not seeing it yet. Luckily though, I think the Target near me actually has it in stock. I think they only had one or two left as of this morning, so hopefully they still have it. So I guess now I think the plan is to head over to Target and see if they have it in stock. If they don't, then maybe I'll give up on ever getting it. But I definitely did see that the Lego store has it, so maybe we can check there as well. Gosh, it is so hot out. I am like a little bummed that they didn't have any early Lego sets here because normally this Walmart is stocked full of early stuff, which is always so exciting to see. That's okay though, I can wait till August 1st. Also, I feel like I'm the only one that doesn't know how to use the Walmart app. Like I've been told by so many people that if you scan an item, it's better than like looking at the actual price tag because like the scans are more up to date. But like, I'll watch someone do it. Someone that's like really good at Lego hunting, they'll scan it and they'll see that it's like 70% off. But then I scan the same thing in my Walmart app and it's not 70% off and there's no discount. If anyone knows what's going on with that, please help me. Technology is hard. But you know, I actually do want to point out real quick that I've been so much better about like using resources when Lego hunting, like the internet, for example. I used to just drive all around town looking for Lego, but you know, at some point I realized like that's a lot of gas money. So now I use something called a mobile app and Target has one of those and you can see where things are in stock around town. So that's just really awesome. Internet is just so cool. But technology as a whole is very scary. Anyways, y'all, I'm headed to Target. See you there. All right, I just got to Target and I'm excited to head inside and see if they have it. The app said they did. If the app is lying, then I will trust no apps ever again, but I'm pretty sure they have it. <laughs> Let's head in. And actually on the way here, I was listening to um, Running Up That Hill by Kate Bush, you know, like the theme song of Stranger Things at this point. I know season four just dropped, but like, When's season five coming? Woo, Target. I really need to get some white shirts for a little project I have coming up soon. I think this should be okay. Look at these shoes, they're so fluffy. So I got my shirt here. I haven't tried it on yet, but I need to. And now we're heading back to the Lego. Wait, more graphic tees. Let me look here real quick. I've been pretty disappointed with like the graphic tee selection lately at Target, but wait, that's actually kind of funny. Like the Bob's Burgers truck, I love that. All the Disney villains, that's actually pretty cute. And then Shrek here, I need to rewatch that. Anyways, Lego. So we finally made it to the Lego aisle. Let's see what they have in stock today. Tons of Lego City stuff. Like this is actually pretty well stocked. And then base plates. Oh, I think Ross actually told me to pick up some base plates. Let me like check with him first, but like they have a lot here, so that's really good. In terms of Star Wars over here, they do have a lot going on. A bunch of the helmets in stock, the X-Wing, and then a bunch of smaller stuff, which is really nice to see. Some Snowtrooper battle packs. That's pretty cool. Some micro fighters. Boba Fett's throne room. This one's still showing up all around Austin for like 40% off at Costco's. Like it retails for a hundred. I found it for 60, I believe, which is just crazy. We have the Harry Potter Hogwarts Express. I'm so excited for the new one coming soon. Hopefully, like I hope those rumors are true. The new Hogwarts Express D to C set. I just can't wait for that. I also have some of the Lego icons here, Sesame Street, the architecture, and then Seinfeld and Queer Eye. These just make me really excited for the new office one coming soon. I like freaked out when that was announced. I cannot wait to pick that one up. But anyways, here we have the Friends sets and we have found it. I'm so excited. This is the set I am after you guys. It is just beautiful. Like all of these trans bricks on the side here are stunning. And I just can't wait to build this like little bowling alley in there. The sign above is also just so cute. We have, like the roller skates, bowling pin, bowling ball, and then like a game controller. And this part here, I believe is the back of the set. And then these kind of like fold in to make it look more like this. And this just looks so nice. Like I can't wait to add that to the city. And I actually just noticed something kind of weird about this set. So you can have your phone placed up there. Like there's a spot to put your phone so you can like watch TV while you're bowling or something. I don't know, but that's just kind of fun. So anyways, definitely picking up this one today. But the rest of the friend section is fully stocked. So let's see what they have going on here. They have the forest camper van. I don't have this one, but I don't really know what I would do with it. The camper van does look really nice and it has a 
little raccoon. Wait, that's so cute. But I just don't know what to do with this in the city. Little pizza shop is kind of cute. And then I don't know if they have the recycling truck in stock right now, but that one looked like a lot of fun. I actually have two copies of this set and I have them kind of back to back in like my Lego Disney World. They look really nice back to back and it kind of looks like modular buildings. So I really like how that turned out. I'm just gonna do one quick little peek around to see if I missed anything, but I don't think so. I think it's just time to head out. But I do need to try on this shirt real quick. Nailed it. All right, I think we're all good and time to check out. See you again soon. All right, so I got my set. I am very excited. I can't wait to build this. I'm glad I could finally find it. But now the biggest struggle for me right now is just like trying to find my car. I have no idea where I parked. I think I'm over this way somewhere. Help. It is way too hot outside to be Lego shopping. Like this is just insane. Texas, y'all need to calm down. This weather is not okay. But also I just took my thumbnail and there were all these like high school girls outside Target because I guess this is like the cool place to hang out. I don't know. And I just feel like the lamest person ever taking my thumbnail, like holding a bright purple friend set, like woo Target, but like, you know, it's fine. I am used to looking a little bit ridiculous at this point, so I can deal. Not really though, it still feels super weird. Uh, I just like moved my hand and it whacked the door. Now it hurts. Ah! I'm a klutz. Anyways, I got my new friend set. I'm super excited. Again, I don't know when I'm going to build this because like things are super crazy right now, but I got one. I'm so excited. I used to hate friends. And when I say hate, I mean like just didn't care. Like there's no Lego sets that I just hate. Either I really want it and I'm super excited about it or it's just like meh whatever. Like if I don't like it, I just don't get it. Like it's not that hard. But when I used to not like friend sets, it's cause like I never had them. And like, to be fair, I still don't really care for mini dolls. It's just not my thing. I prefer minifigs. They just feel so much more collectible to me, but like the sets themselves are so much fun and they're actually Ross's favorites to build. So just saying six foot four Ross loves building friend sets. All of this being said though, I had a really good time out shopping today, but I am starting to get hungry. I actually don't know what time it is. My phone doesn't tell me when I'm recording and my car doesn't tell me, so it, I have no idea, but I'm starting to get hungry. So I think it's time to head home. Thanks everyone so much for hanging out with me during this little Lego hunting adventure. I'm kind of sad I didn't find anything early, but again, I can wait till August 1st. It's no biggie. I know it sounds really stupid, but I'm probably most excited for those new like Disney dots sets. They just look like so much fun. And I'm excited to like incorporate those into like my Lego Disney world in the city. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Please do consider subscribing if you're new and I'll see you next time.